Hello everybody and welcome to my office. Um, this is a tour I never thought I would give and it's not really a tour. I'm more or less just here to show you guys what kind of shipping supplies I use because I received this comment. Hopefully I'll remember to put it right here. I received this comment um, back when I was sick about what kind of shipping supplies that I use. So I'm here basically to show uh, what shipping supplies I use the most as a mostly plush in small vintage toy reseller with some other stuff sprinkled in. I have a hair in my eyeball. That's great. Okay, so small tour, just because I'm really proud of the work that I've done in this office. Um, for the record, this is not a painted mural. This is fabric. <laughs> it's a gift from my fiance that I had asked for um, for Christmas from Amazon, in case you're wondering. It's really nice, it's really big actually. So let me go ahead and show you this quick tour and then we'll go over all of my most used shipping supplies. So firstly, it wouldn't be an office without a spot for the cat and obviously a spot for the dog and we have to lift up the blinds because there uh, has been several accidents involving the blinds when there's a squirrel or a bird. So this is where all of my work should be getting done, um, but doesn't always. Yes, in a pinch you can use a large uh, mailing box as a printer stand. <laughs> this is where the actual work gets done. These are things that I have yet to unbox and I am behind an unboxing so I'm not ordering anymore. If it can't fit under the shipping desk, um, it's not being ordered for unboxing purposes. This is my new shipping station. It used to be a kitchen table. Um, it, I've actually got three of these now. So there's this one, this one, and this one. However, if you go to Amazon and if you want the link, I can put it down below. Um, they're the same price as these two. However, there has been a major upgrade where now they have two electrical outlets and two USB ports. So that's really great because of the same price and those don't have it. Um, here's my tripod where I use to do the unboxings and also my shipping. That's why sometimes you see this little thing in the way. These are paintings that you used to see or prints that you used to see in the background of all of my thumbnails and um, unboxings. I got them from Ikea. I love them. Um, <laughs> but I never hung them up. And the reason, I didn't even mention this yet, this office used to be a gray blue and I hated it. And you may have seen it on TikTok because I did talk about it on TikTok when I was doing it. This is considered holly jolly green from Menards. It is my favorite green um, and it looks absolutely beautiful with all the white. You might hear some commentary in the background. So anyway, I use a two inch tape dispenser. I did just refill that uh, yesterday at when I was shipping because I ran out. I have this beautiful subscribe to Down River Flipper and follow on Facebook sign from my fiance. He um, gave that to me as a gift actually over almost a year ago when I first started making YouTube videos. I have my nice little cards that I put in all of my orders. It says thank you for supporting my small business with a link to my shop and an eBay coupon. So all of my orders get this. It's just blank on the other side. Facebook, Macari, Etsy. I'm sure that's not entirely great etiquette, but it does encourage them. So that way it's easier to print all of my shipping labels in one spot. Okay, this is what I want to talk about most, not the most, because we're here to talk about shipping supplies. This is a Rolo thermal printer. I know a lot of people were looking for the Bluetooth version, which actually just came out this year, I think. Um, now I actually have mine. So here it is on my supply station and my computer is all the way over here. What I did just recently, uh, like last week, cause it was taking up too much room on my desk. I ordered a 16 foot cable from Amazon. So essentially I can stick it anywhere I want within 16 feet. So, and that was better for me than buying a whole new Rolo printer. So that might be an option for you. Um, if you're not in the market for a brand new thermal printer. These are just thermal labels. This is my Anna man. He helps keep the sales going when I'm not listing. Obviously my garage flips resizer knife. And then, okay. So in this top one, now I actually have post-its. At least I did. I put post-its in all of these a long time ago because I would forget what size I ordered. These first ones are, I put, so you can see some of the sticky notes. So that way I could remember the size. Now, I know that these had sticky notes in them. Hmm. Made this video and lost the sticky note. This I remember because I just started ordering these because I had so many things that didn't fit. 
These are six by eights. I don't use these too often. Um, I have them just for small non-breakables. These are six by eight, non-padded. Everything I use from here down is eBay branded. These I buy from um, a shop on eBay and I can link that down below as well. These come from the same store. So like I said, these are six by eights unpadded. This one I have a little too full. These are, I'm so glad I made these post-its. These are eight and a half by 11 is what it says. Eight, no, eight by 11. And these are the padded ones. They are the new one from eBay where they started putting the bubble underneath the, uh, the strip there. So I just add an extra piece of tape if I feel like it needs it. These are also eBay branded. These are 10 by 13s. Now if I, so I have these out and if I order too many, cause I use these all the time, uh, I just keep the new ones down here and they're just sealed still. So my next color I think is blue cause they come in like red, green, and blue. But yeah, this is just a, I already forgot the size. I wish eBay would print the sizes on them, but they don't. Let me see, those are 10 by 13s. These are what I consider, these are the mediums. So I consider those large, no, large, <laughs> small, mediums. These are the largest. These are the 12 by 15s. They are the second largest one that I have. And then the next one always gives me the most problems. 14 by 18. And I don't buy these too often. These are for like the really big plush, not as big as that duck that we sold this week. These are the biggest ones. What I do is when I take it out and I decide not to use it, just crumple it back in there and push it in. So these next three slots, I just have extras. Um, I keep some of these antibacterial wipes in there to like clean off some of my items. These are Lego boards that I didn't get listed. So the next person who buys a Lego lot for me is getting free Lego sheets. That way I can get rid of those. Uh, more antibacterial wipes. My garage flip sticker. I have another one up there. <laughs> these are my hall pass pins from Two Dogs Digs. What other? Oh, that's my thank you card from Lonnie. This is how you get rid of um, like sticker goo. If you don't have like a Scotty peeler, this actually works really well. I get these from the dollar store in the craft section. It's almost like a piece of rubber. UV light, because I do have UV pens. There's my pen that I lost. P.O. box keys. This is kind of like overflow. Um, and some other random tidbits this is my metal Scotty peeler, another pin. These are all of my business cards because that one only holds so many. And then lastly is the more, this is the bag, a spare bag that I used to ship that duck this week. I have like a lint roller, some extra batteries, the shrink wrap rubber bands. These are a pack of UV lights that sometimes I use to mark things with. Not too often though. Scotty Peeler. Um, this scanner I used to use when I would sell books on Amazon. I haven't used that in a while. Um, some more tape and then my jewelry loop. But like I said before, I'm probably done just selling jewelry. Okay. And then lastly is the shipping shelf, which again, if you follow me on TikTok, I used to have two of these shelves and I combined it into one. So this is where I keep my four by, these are four by four by four boxes. These are great for shipping mugs, um, salt and pepper shakers, little trinkets, things like that. And then I also have these seven by four by four boxes. <laughs> and those are for, you know, bigger things. You've seen me so actually put Madame Alexander dolls in there and double them up. Um, long salt and pepper shakers. I use them just as, this week for the chef salt and pepper shakers at, and just other little tidbits. This is stuff that I pack little small pieces in, like game pieces and jewelry. I also want to make mention that I do have a trash can here in the corner, which is where when I peel all the little stickies off, I put them in here. I did contact paper this trash can just so it would match, and I'm really proud of that, so that's why I'm showing it to you. It's a trash can, but I put marble contact paper on it because that's what I do. This mailing box is the smallest mailing box priority that I use. I don't typically tend to use the... 
like DVD boxes and things like that. However, I just started listing on Poshmark last week, so we'll see if anything changes there. These are the box number fours, 776, which is just slightly bigger than the 744s. So keep these up here. These I use quite a bit. These are the uh, USPS 1097s. I like these a lot. Also, second most used one is the USPS shoe box. I cut these down a lot for lots of things. Um, probably use these ones the most and then the four by fours probably. These come from the boxery on eBay. This one is, use, I use this one a lot when I sell like board games and things. This is a 10, sorry, I'm blocking the light, 1095. Um, now I've had these for a while. I know that the postal service is changing some of their box sizes, especially now that they're implementing the oversized charge um, on boxes and things like that. So I don't know if any of these dimensions have changed because I buy them in large quantities. Also, when you see me sell board games, I typically will box it in this one and then cut a strip off another one and make a lid. It makes it much cheaper than selling it in what used to be and now is discontinued, the USPS board game box. That was a doozy. Um, I keep all of my scrap for the ones that I cut off. I just keep it in the 1097. It's right here. So that way if I need scrap, I just kind of tuck it in there. And then these are the large mailing boxes. Do not confuse these with the large flat rate mailing box. That's why in some of my videos you'll see that I have two of those boxes upstairs unopened because I meant to order these and I ordered flat rates. And that's a big boo-boo on my part. And these are just the box number seven. So these are uh, 12 by 11.75 by eight. Really like these. These are great for bulkier things. I just put that duck actually in this one. And then down here, I have extra shipping. Oh, my finger's in the way. Extra shipping labels and then all of my eBay tape. And here's the crazy thing. I ordered eBay tape with my quarter one coupon. It's the first time I've ordered eBay tape in three years. I used to order so much tape with my coupon because I didn't know what to buy when I first started. So I just bought tape and then I was buying poly mailers from the dollar store. Don't do that. It's stupid expensive, especially now that they've raised the price. Um, so this is the first time I've had to buy tape, which is why if you've ever ordered from me, you see that I have all the different kind of tape that eBay had released in limited runs over the last few years. So now I have just this black and white eBay tape and all this other stuff is just like personal crap. But if you are going to use eBay tape, I don't know how it is for other tape brands like Scotch and Duck and things like that because I know they make shipping tape. With eBay tape, make sure if you're using it, you are making sure that the tape sticks to itself. Um, if you put just the tape on a box, I guarantee you it will pop off. <laughs> Guaranteed. Make sure you put a piece of tape over that tape. For some reason, that's the only way to keep the box shut. Um, also, I didn't show you my bubble wrap holder. I got a sweet deal. A fold-up bubble wrap stand. Um, someone had posted about it in a eBay group that I'm on on Facebook. Um, right now on eBay, these are going for $44 a piece. I got lucky. I bought two when they were only like six bucks. It's meant to hold like um, industrial cleaning paper. My bubble wrap does come from American Bubble Boy. I know some people have had issues. Um, I have not. I've gotten lucky. So I just got another 400 square feet of it and I just keep it uh, either in inventory or in the garage. But this is so nice. I just pick it up. It folds up and I move it where I need to move it, which is usually over here in this corner. <laughs> oh, we have two co-workers today, huh? Now you're leaving? Okay, bye. Shift's over. All right. Sorry if I bored you to death. Hopefully I didn't. Hopefully this was helpful. To some of you that are new, if you're wondering what kind of shipping supplies you can use or need, uh, my least two used shipping supplies are both the small unpadded mailer and the padded mailer because usually I just use bubble wrap sticking in a box for the most part. Um, sometimes when I sell the McDonald's toys, I do stick those in the bubble mailers. Um, if there's anything you saw in this video that I didn't explain or show you, that's my cool plants that I've got. That's family photos. I'd like to keep those in my office. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, if there's anything here that I didn't explain or I went too fast or you need a link, let me know. I will be more than happy to provide you with those or answer any questions. Um, all right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.